October 25th, Submitting to God's Purpose I have become all things to all men that I might by all means save some. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22 A Christian worker has to learn how to be God's man or woman of great worth and excellence in the midst of a multitude of meager and worthless things. Never protest by saying, If only I were somewhere else. All of God's people are ordinary people who have been made extraordinary by the purpose He has given them. Unless we have the right purpose intellectually in our minds and lovingly in our hearts, we will be quickly diverted from being useful to God. We are not workers for God by choice. Many people deliberately choose to be workers, but they have no purpose of God's almighty grace or His mighty word in them. Paul's whole heart, mind, and soul were consumed with the great purpose of what Jesus Christ came to do, and he never lost sight of that one thing. We must continually confront ourselves with one central fact, Jesus Christ and Him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 2, I chose you. John 15 verse 16, Keep these words as a wonderful reminder in your theology. It is not that you have gotten God, but that He has gotten you. God is at work, bending, breaking, molding, and doing exactly as He chooses. And why is He doing it? He is doing it for only one purpose, that He may be able to say, This is my man, and this is my woman. We have to be in God's hand so that He can place others on the rock, Jesus Christ, just as He has placed us. Never choose to be a worker, but once God has placed His call upon you, woe be to you if you turn aside to the left or to the right. Deuteronomy 28 verse 14. He will do with you what He never did before His call came to you, and He will do with you what He is not doing with other people. Let Him have His way.